The rabbis taught that this is a very sacred area of Israel that breeds very special olives. They taught that it was only in this area that the olives are pure enough to make the olive oil that was fit to light the menorah in the temple. Now we're going. This year for Hanukkah, I brought my children to make olive oil exactly how they made olive oil in this very land 2,000 years ago. This is one of the only places in all of Israel to get the olive oil to light the menorah or in the golden lampstand. Now, many of you might know Israel as the land of milk and honey, but in Deuteronomy, God says that he's bringing us into a wonderful land flowing with olive oil and honey. So olive oil was used in the temple. Lighting the menorah was such a holy act. You know why we're picking the olive? Why? that the rabbis outlined not only where the olives had to come from, but how to pick them. Not to squeeze too tight, because we don't want to bruise the olives. The rabbis taught that you had to pick the olives intentionally for the holy service. Just like they did during the times of the holy temple in Jerusalem. One by one, olive by olive. Right? And we're gonna light our menorah. After the times of the prophets, there was a cruel dictator named Antiochus who took over the Holy Land. And the first thing that he did was he went into the Holy Temple in Jerusalem and sacrificed a pig in the name of Zeus. A vastly outnumbered Jewish army, the Maccabees, they succeeded in defeating Antiochus, and yet they had one problem. They only had enough very pure olive oil to light the menorah to last one day. It's amazing to think about how from Jerusalem here and back is around a six day journey. It takes another day or two in order to pick the olives and make them into the pure olive oil. And so it makes sense that the miracle that happened over Hanukkah was that the olive oil that was supposed to last one day ended up lasting eight days. Exactly the amount of time that it takes to bring fresh olive oil to the temple. Watch how I pour it, shim shim. <laughs> right, the olive oil? To this very day, olive oil is made in the land of Israel that is fit for the holy menorah that burns so brightly in the holy temple that the light has lasted all the way to today.